Hi friends, welcome back to Miss Lori's Stories. For today's story, I thought it'd be really fun to talk about the change of seasons because let's just take a moment. Let's all say, bye winter. And let's say, hello spring. That's right, we're in a new season. It's called spring. And this book is called, and then it's spring by Julie Fagliano. And this is my all time favorite book about spring. First, you have brown all around. You have brown. My Red Room friends have learned that we have the power of observation. And all that means is we have the power to see with our eyes and we can tell and say exactly what we see. And that's what it means to make observations and to observe. So why don't you all use your eyes and take a really close look at this picture. What do you observe? What do you see? Does it look warm? Does it look cold? Does it, this look like spring? Let's talk about what we saw. We already know all around we see brown. I saw trees, but did the trees have leaves? No leaves. They're very bare. Um, I even saw some flowers, but they didn't really look like they were alive. You can take a better look at that. They look kind of dull and droopy. Oh, you see that child? What is the child wearing? Yeah, let's talk about it. I see a hat. I see a scarf. I see gloves. Does that look like clothes for hot weather? No, it's definitely cold out. Do you know what season this is? It's winter. So before spring, it's winter. And that's the season we were just in, especially if you're living in New York or New York City like me. Then there are seeds. Let's plant our seeds just like this child. Okay, always leave everything way up high. Sorry about that. So reach up high, grab your seeds. Oh, yeah, we can't just sprinkle them on the ground. What do we need to do first? Yeah, just like the picture, we should dig a hole. You can use your hands and dig a hole. Oh, you want a shovel? All right, let's grab a shovel. You can dig a little hole. Not too deep, you don't need a big hole. These are just tiny, tiny, tiny little seeds. All right, put the shovel back, grab your seeds again, sprinkle them in your hole, and put the dirt back on top. Let's see what happens next in our story. And a wish for rain. And then it rains. Why are we wishing for rain? What will the rain help do? Think about it. We had just planted some seeds in the ground. Yes, the rain brings water and seeds need water to grow. Well, that's my favorite sign. It means grow. It also means spring. And it's still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. Ooh, I see something red that would be very useful during, um, for the rain. That's right. The umbrella. Umbrellas are great when it's raining. They'll help keep you dry. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Oh, you see that the child has some friends. I also see the rabbit and the dog. And there's a turtle. Well, we can go over some signs for those animals too. If you watch my brown bear, brown bear video, we learn a dog. 
and for rabbit, it's really simple. You take your two peace fingers and you gotta turn them around. You get the one in your hand. That's rabbit or bunny. And turtle's really fun too. Thumbs up. Turn your hand. Yeah, that's right. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> Just like this. You, this is gonna be your shell. And then you wiggle. That's your turtle head. And I do know a really fun bunny breath. So let's do three bunny breaths together. I don't know if you know this about bunnies, but they take really short breaths through their nose. And we're gonna do the same thing. So try to follow along. Again. All right, this time we'll do it one last time. And while we let out the air through our mouth, we're gonna grab a carrot to take a big bite. Because when there's a bunny, there's a carrot. I love a carrot. Then it's a week. Do my friends know how many days are in one week? Seven days. I'm going to take a moment to sing some of my days of the week songs. If you know the words, please sing along. If not, maybe you can learn something new. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. And how many days are in one week? Seven. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thanks for singing and counting with me. And you worry about those little seeds. What might we what might we be worried about? Are you nervous something may not happen to our seeds? Yeah, we can be worried that they may not grow. Maybe they won't get enough water or sunlight. Those are really important for seeds to grow. And if maybe it was the birds. What do we know about birds? What do birds like to eat? Yes, a lot of birds like to eat seeds. We were worried they might eat our seeds. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping. Can I hear you stomp? Can you stomp louder? Can you stomp faster? Faster? Can you stomp real slow? Yeah, real slow. <gasps> nice stomping. Because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. What are the seeds trying to do? That's right, the seeds are trying to grow. You can ask the bears nicely to please not stomp here. Bears, can you please not stomp here? We have seeds and they're trying to grow. Thanks, bears. And then it is one more week. Another seven days went by. Waiting's not easy, but we can all do it. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And friends, if you have room to put your ear to the ground, I really want you to try. I'm gonna use the book as my ground. We're just gonna put our ear to the ground. Let's close our eyes and let's take a deep breath. 
One more time. Breathe in. Did you hear it? Did you hear that greenish hum? Well, I did. <laughs> it might be hard to see, but our seeds are starting to do some really, really cool things. The first thing all seeds do is grow roots deep underground. So if we all take our seeds from earlier, and after they got some rain and some sun, they're all going to start to spread their roots and they grow. Do you know what roots do? They drink up all that water from the rain or from people watering the flowers. Like a straw. Let's all suck up that water. And then eventually, do you know what grows above the ground from the seed? If the roots are underground, above the ground grows the... The stem. And then it's one more week. You know waning's not easy. But it takes time for seeds to grow. And this sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after that rainy day. And you walk outside to check on all that brown. I love to do votes with my friends at school. So a vote is, I'm going to ask a question and you will raise your quiet hand to show me what you think. So the question is, do you think it's still going to be brown outside all around? If you think it's still going to be brown, raise your quiet hand now. Okay, good to see, good to see. Hands down. Now, if you think when they go outside, it's going to be a different color, raise your quiet hand now. Good to see. Good to see. Now tell me, what color do you think it, it, they're going to see outside? These are great predictions. Good guesses. All right, let's see. But the brown isn't around. And now you have green. All around, you have green. So my friends, I hope you saw that in the beginning of the book, we started in winter, and by the end of the book, it's spring. And that's the end of, and then it's spring. I know we're all supposed to be staying inside at this time, but it's still good to go outside and go for a walk. So next time you go for a walk, maybe you can call it a nature walk. Use your power of observation. What do you see outside? Are the trees still bare? Do you start seeing leaves growing? Do you see flowers growing? I love flowers. So before we go, let's do a quick flower breath. We're going to pretend there's a beautiful field of flowers in front of us. You can close your eyes if you'd like. And just for our flower breath, we're going to extend our arms and pick the most beautiful flower you see. Now bring that flower to your nose. Let's smell the flower. What did your flower smell like? Did it smell yummy and sweet? Did it smell yucky, P-U? All right, one more time. Let's bring our flower to our nose and smell it. Oh no, there's a bee, blow it away. <sighs> my friends always like that one. All right, my friends, that's the end of Miss Lori's stories. I hope you enjoyed the one about spring. See you soon. Bye.